Okay, take note. Valentine's Day is just eight days away. Do you have something special planned for that sweetheart in your life? How about sushi dinner for two? Joining us, the tips for hosting your own romantic sushi dinner is executive chef of Yamashiro Hollywood, Valerie Archer. Look at that boat. Whoa, we are excited about this. Hi, good, Hi. good morning. Okay, so you created a show stopping sushi boat at Yamashiro. Tell, I mean, we're looking at how does this all come together? There's so much there to talk about. Well, basically, uh, our sushi boat is the number one seller here at the restaurant. And um, what we do is we uh, basically have our chef uh, prepare a selection for our guests, the most popular world that we have, and we showcase it on the boat for everyone to see. So it's a showstopper, and you know, everyone, the camera eats for us before uh, the guests, so they take pictures. It's the an camera. amazing boat. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> like, it, it is very Instagram worthy, no doubt about it. So here's yes. the thing, you yes. guys Mark loves an Italian classic. So you have a sushi pizza? Yes, we do. Um, it is fabulous. It's, we basically uh, give it to guests who have not tried sushi before because it, it's on a um, uh, crisp tortilla and we basically put uh, 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 aioli on here, which is we use uh, truffle aioli, and then we top it up with a thin slice of sashimi. So it has that crunchy feeling and taste, and um, you have the best fish on there. So it's amazing. So you've got to try this. It's to me, it looks like a sushi tostada. I'm also. kind of with you there, too. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. 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 That's you appropriate. Can. Yeah. You can say tostada, pizza, but it's amazing. <laughs> it looks amazing. All right, so you guys are the pros. Help us out if we're not professionals. What advice do you have for somebody who's working with sushi for the very first time? Well, the first thing is that I know a lot of people, when they make sushi, they think that they have to be perfect, but it's not perfect. The, the one thing is when you're making it with your significant other, make it fun and exciting mm -hmm. and create something for both of you. And, you know, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube how to make it, but I believe it's just having fun and enjoying time together and making it. So you have some special Valentine's Day cakes for the holiday. Can you talk about the smash cakes? Yes, we do. Um, we have our Valentine's Day smash cake, and it's something that's very trendy, and it's a hollow topper here. So I'm going to have my chef camera, and I, we're going to smash it on camera. Okay. Oh. And what you do, where do you go? Go. Look at that. Oh, nice. So it's a hollow chocolate that we made, and then we have, like, candy bars here. Oh. It's something fun. So yes. when, when people go to your restaurant, the cell phones have to be out nonstop, and they're just posting and recording and putting stuff on social media, right? Oh, it's nonstop. I mean, we aside from this boat, we have a sushi yacht that's about four feet long, and it comes with sparklers. So everything that we do showcases our food, and it's always Instagram worthy and just uh, tag us and let us know that you're here. All right, Chef, I want to ask you, what's your go-to when you look at that boat? If you're going to get the first thing out of that boat, what are you going to go for? I like the um, sashimi. I love eating oh, that sashimi, rice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's. I mean, it doesn't feel like it fills you up. But I can eat the whole a whole boat of sashimi. It's amazing. So do you do you usually put jalapeno with that sashimi, and then maybe was it is it cilantro that or maybe I'm thinking of something else? Parsley? No, actually, no. It's uh, we use serrano peppers. Uh, pretty much, you can do whatever. And then we also have uh, fresh wasabi root that yeah. uh, is going to Japan. Oh. So you guys can request that too. It's amazing. Sure. It's a different taste from the regular wasabi. Are are you guys aware that today is is National Chopstick Day? Yeah. Did you know that? Oh wow. You know what? No. Do you have you some chopsticks me. there? Do you have any <laughs> yeah, tips you... for people? Because I know there are a lot of people who will sometimes just stab a piece of sushi with one chopstick and eat it. And but... I think that <laughs> is bad. Or what about the rubber bands on the top? Yeah. Like training wheels for yeah, sushi? Yes. No. The, the training ones. They do have the training ones. But my my son does this. When you go to sushi restaurants because oh, he doesn't no. know how to use it. Yeah, so, that's, yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, the key is really, don't you think the key is to, to get low enough that you have some control over the chopstick, right? No, yeah, that's true. It's just basically down here and basically press it okay. together. Or you can always bring a rubber band with you. But, I was, you know, we always have our, our servers are great at, you know, making it for you. I was literally almost 30 years old. When I learned how to use top chopsticks, I'm David so taught me how to do it. I'm so hungry right now, just we, looking at that. 30, 30. Sushi. I was like almost 30. Um, beautiful stuff. Uh, can I ask your chef that's with you, um, Chef Valerie? What's his favorite thing? If he, if he was going to dig chef into Daniel. that 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 uh, boat, what would he go for? I really like sushi. I enjoy pretty much everything. Yeah. You don't have I, a favorite. I'm a sushi lover. I, I don't. I like everything. You like everything. Yeah, I'm a sushi lover. So, <laughs> yeah. What 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 about ginger? Is it appropriate? Before each 
piece of sushi, should you put ginger in your mouth and sort of chew it up? Is that is that appropriate? Um, what it is, the ginger is a uh, palate cleanser. So mm -hmm. when you're going into another type of fish, especially a white fish from a tuna, you want to do that. So that way you get the actual flavor from, um, let's say, a halibut. So if you're not having the other ingredients, that's with the other sushi. So that way you get that fresh uh, taste to it. And, and, and lastly, lastly. I, I, I've learned this one time. When you, let, let's say you're on a date for Valentine's Day and, uh -huh. and you want to maybe have something to drink and you order sake. You should order the sake cold, right? Like having sake bombs, that that's not that that's not the right way to do it, correct? It's everyone's preference, ah. but yes, you should just want to use regular uh, drink regular sake. And we have a lot of uh, several sake too that's amazing. But you know, combine another sake bomb with you. Okay. Oh, well, you know, we're if, on, if we're you're going to invite way. us, we're, we're on our way. 11 minutes and we'll be on our way. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I have a whole spread for you guys. Uh, Chef Yama and I have a whole spread for you guys to come in. Everything here today. It's so fun to talk with you. Um, we do know that everybody loves Yamashiro's, and, and all you have to do is go to social media and you can see uh. all the beautiful pictures. So thank you so much. For more, you can visit Chef Val, and you can also visit YamashiroHollywood.com. Thanks, guys. Good stuff. And some good tips on National Chopsticks Day, yes. too.